Section 1.6, and we're going to practice absolute value equations. So here it goes. The absolute value of x equals 10. Well, our job, our first job is to get rid of these absolute value bars. Once we do that, we can isolate x. So in order to do that, you've got a rule that says if the absolute value of x equals c, then x equals plus or minus c. So therefore, x equals plus or minus 10. That means x equals 10 or x equals negative 10. Replacing x between the absolute value bars with either 10 or negative 10 will bro both yield 10. So here's the more concise way to write the solution. Okay. So now let me show you another problem. And uh, so keep in mind, our first task is to dispense with the absolute value bars. Once we get that job done, then we can go ahead and isolate the variable. So this being the case, in order to get rid of the absolute value bars, we'll write 2n minus 5 equals plus or minus 9. So we have two cases, the case where 2n minus 5 equals negative 9, or the case where 2n minus 5 equals 9. We're going to get two different solutions. So now let's do what we've been doing. This is uh, easy to solve. We'll add 5 to both sides. So plus 5, plus 5. And now we have uh, 2n equals and negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4. And when we get here, we'll multiply by the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 half, and we'll do that to both sides. And the 2's divide out. The product of reciprocals is 1, and we're left with n. That's isolated. And now we have the product of a number of unlike signs, an odd number of unlike signs, so we know the answer will be negative, and 2 goes into 4 twice, so n equals negative 2. That's one solution. Let's try this guy. So now we'll add 5 to both sides, and we get 2n equals 5 plus 9 is 14. Then we'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 2. And the 2's divide out, and we get n equals, and 2 goes into 14 7 times, so n equals 7. Now look, we can check our work. If you replace n with negative 2, you get 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9, and the absolute value of negative 9 is 9. Let's check this guy out. Let n be 7. 2 times 7 is 14, minus 5 is 9, and the absolute value of 9 is 9. So, hey, we checked our work. It worked. We're done.